Hi, everyone. Thank you so much for joining us today. Uh, greetings from New York. Uh, I imagine that there are so many audience from Japan uh, connecting to uh, reach us today. So we are happy to be here to have this special event. Uh, New York has been actually so cold. Yesterday we got snow, but uh, I believe in Japan it's almost coming spring and I believe uh, this exhibition bring you uh, feels of happiness in spring. So um, we at uh, Iporo Gallery in New York are delighted to ho hold this uh, exhibition, Terumasa Ikeda, Iridescent Lacquer, which opens tomorrow, March 16th. Terumasa Ikeda is an innovative artist who makes a strikingly, remarkably modern lacquerware in Laden, uh, mother of pearl inlay technique and in tradition, which has over 1,000 years of history. Uh, Lacquer itself has uh, 9,000 years of history, but Laden already have over 1,000 years of history. And um, today to celebrate this uh, special solo exhibition, which is actually the first overseas in Japan show of Ikeda Sensei, um, we would like to uh, welcome those special uh, guests and Ikeda Sensei. So Terumasa Ikeda Sensei has arrived from Kanazawa, north uh, west side of Japan. And then also our special guest today, Dr. Deborah A. Goldberg. She's based in New York uh, to have a conversation in which I believe to bring a very um, meaningful discussion, but also a very interesting new perspectives to, uh, towards the lacquerware. And I hope these dialogues help you understand what he's standing on between a like a, becoming a bridge between contemporary but also traditional lacquer in history. So, uh, hi, um, Ikeda Sensei and Deborah san. How are you feeling, Ikeda Sensei, first of all? How New York is actually, how do you feel in New York the uh, second time for you? Oh, eto... <laughs> he said it's very cold in actually uh, in New York, and then he thought that Kanazawa can be colder, but in fact uh, New York is colder, so he's a little bit uh, surprised. And how how are you, Deborah? I'm doing great. I'm thrilled to be here and to be with all of you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. So before we would like her to take over our conversations, I would like to uh, show you and share with you 19 latest pieces he's now uh, bringing. We are showcasing starting from tomorrow. So let us show you a image of the work. So since Japan's first encounter with the cultures of Europe some 500 years ago, lacquer has become representative of the great treasure the archipelago has to offer the world and a long favored subject of international trade. Thus, lacquer has become synonymous with Japan. Ikeda was born in 1987 and studied architecture in high school. He went in Nepal in the architectural study program to volunteer the projects of world heritage. He was inspired by the local people's life filled with artisanship and in wood carving. He went to the Kanazawa College of Art to study wood carving and encounter lacquer. Kanazawa is the city uh, considered the historical hub for lacquerware in Japan. He is passionate uh, for decorations of the surfaces. So he studied under Shinya Yamamura, whose exhibitions and showcases we have organized since nine, uh, 2009. While he studied traditional lacquerware and his materials are all natural, wood, lacquer, which is sap of wood, and shells. 
he has been seeking the most innovative approaches towards the materials today and the precise result. He does not hesitate to use science and technology. He developed his laser incised Raden technique for eight years and creating Arabic numerals, computer screen like motifs, electric interface, and digital signals, all from Abaroni shells and turban shells and white and black lip pearls oysters. He then put it in the water with the sonic wave to pull it out uh, piece by piece. And then he inlays by hand into the surface to the lacquer coated wood base. Then he polishes the surface with charcoal numerous times and achieves this almost mirror quality smooth surface. And I see that there are some materials today to bring you. What's the material? The shells are here. So the mother of a pearl was first 0 0.08 millimeter, like this thing, very, very thin. I know it's hard to see, but this is very thin, 0 0.08 millimeter. And he actually made it into 0 0.05 millimeter thick, which challenges the limit of the materials. What we see is the light reflected, creating a beautiful iridescence. If we trace the course of these carefully aligned numerals, and with our eyes, it feels as if we are watching a science fiction or movie or being drawn down into a labyrinth. He's currently one of the most sought after lacquer artists and Kogi art craft artists in Japan. Ikeda's works have become highly prized for the artist's most technologically advanced method and never before have his works have been available for direct purchase by audience outside, by, outside of Japan. So through today's conversation, we want to discover why he's so enthusiastically loved and where he stands. And then I, I'm very excited. So Deborah. So Deborah A. Goldberg, doctor, she received her PhD from the Institute of Fine Arts, New York University is an art historian who lives in New York City. She teaches art history at the School of Visual Arts and lectures regularly at the Metropolitan Museum of Art and the Museum of Modern Art. Dr. Goldberg writes about modern and contemporary art, design, and decorative arts. And for more information, please visit our exhibition page and she wrote a beautiful essay for us. Thank you. So Deborah, why don't you? Thank you. Well, I'm, I'm thrilled to be here and I'm, I'm pleased that we have this fantastic display before us that shows the great innovation of Akeda Sensei's designs, um, particularly how he's using the traditional uh, rotten uh, method with all the organic materials, but also embracing technology through laying out his designs um, digitally but, um, but also using other digital processes to create something extraordinary that's so microscopic as well. And I'm particularly intrigued with the use of the numerals. And I would love to know why the numerals? <laughs> oh, hi. At all. <laughs> ご紹介していただいた時ちゃんとあのまあ、ま、お話できてなかったんですけどあの初めてえっと、ま、こうやって海外で発表させていただいてま、なのにこんなにたくさんの方に見に来ていただいて本当にありがとうございます。So to hear him and see his work in person. Thank you. For the people who join us online, there are so many people here 
as an audience. I, uh, it's actually uh, almost like a symposium or theater here. So he's very thrilled and excited to see you today. あの、何、何、初めてのそうですね。こっちで見ていただくので、あの、ご意見というか、どういった感想を持っていただいたかまた後で。He overseas in Japan, so he's happy to listen to your any input, comments, any feedbacks. He's a very humble artist. So, yeah, mm -hmm. we are actually having a Q&A session after this conversation, so please feel free to talk with him. Yeah. <laughs> In Japan, uh, Japanese uh, motifs and traditional cottage wear is always kacho fuge. It's always flowers, birds, natural scenes, moon, those natural motifs. And also the scenarios on poems or stories or some patrons uh, request. Okay. Mm -hmm. The traditional in Japan. However, しかしながらこう今の時代だあの資本主義社会の中で in the current state of the world in the capitalism. こう君主制とかでもない。There World Heritage like His world is on his farm. He would like to realize that kind of a beauty and significance meaning as an artist today. Bukagoirona 感じたその感動オーラ。He is a Japanese, but also he is inspired and then influenced by Western culture at the same time as his generation. He sees arts and also world heritage, his architectures that also come into his soul. それをこの現代の中で表現するにはどうしたらいいかということを常に考えています。So how and why he is an artist, and then what can he express? Into using this lacquerware. When he wanted to figure out what he wants to uh, describe the present world, you see the ancient project. Uh, um, uh, properties you see the figures of buddhas or icons or uh, mm -hmm. stained glass yeah stained glass in church so it's a mono no it's the symbol of the power symbol of the divine how he can replace into today's world え、今この時代で力の象徴になっているものって僕はこう情報だったりえっとま、科学の力だったり。
それを表現するということがあのやりたいことだと思いましたし、えっと、僕はデジタルネイティブ。というまあ、その世代日本,、yes. 日本語で言う。So he liked to express that current、uh, motif and field, as he is himself is a generation of、uh, digital field. なのでこう、うん、僕が感じる美しさを、まあ、そのままダイレクトに表現したいと思いましたし。He liked to express what he feels beautiful in the current world. 今この時代でしか描けないものがあるんじゃないかと思っています。So、he believes that there is something only today can、uh, show.、Mm-hmm. That's okay. Yes, that's the number.、Mm-hmm. Okay, thank you.、Um, I, I definitely see a connection with digital technology and with the black backdrop that does look like a digital screen or a video game. And、um, I'm curious about any video games that you play or But, or even subconsciously, if you think about video games or digital technology while you're creating your designs. So, this is a very good thing. He, of course, loves、uh, natural beauty, beauty in nature, as、uh, Japanese traditional patterns and motifs. だけどやっぱりゲームとか漫画。Of course, he is like lots of games and animations and manga comics. で育ってきた。He was grown up with those cultures at the same time. いろんな美しさがあってもいいんじゃない So he believes that there must be more other kind of beauties, new type of beauty. Thank you. I wrote in my essay about Um, Shibata Zeshin, the master lacquer artist of the 19th century, who used extraordinary techniques to render different surfaces and materials. And how do you see your work in relationship to his? Because I, he was a master of his time. You do something completely different. I also see that you use certain t r u m p l o i d techniques, like he did as well. Hi, Eto. やっぱり日本にいるととてもそういう名品に、うん、あの見る機会はたくさんあってで In Japan, he has, so, of course, there are many opportunities to see those old masters and then Shibata z e s h i is obviously one of them たくさんの技術があの昔はありましたけれども There were many, many techniques in the、uh, old times 純粋に残っている、継承されている技術って、こう、まあ、すべてではない。But only a few、um, techniques and、uh, styles are inherited passing my time until today. 江戸時代の名品とかを美術館に見に行って、それで、こう、見て学ぶという。So he came, went to the museum and see the Edo period's、uh, art pieces. In the museum to, to study. He wants to open and then kind of、uh, open and just discover、um, the, what, what was that inside. And he kind of、uh, directly, physically o p e n and just f i n d sometimes. He wants to open and then kind of、uh, open and just find sometimes. He wants to open and then kind of、uh, 石のように見せた。So for example, Zushi also used the Kawari Muri, that the technique like almost like a rock. To this part,、uh, this is the error 02, has this edge is cracked and then it's actually、uh, easy to show the error number two. ですね、それでこうあの何の素材でできているかないつの時代で、so kind of uh, ということもあの学んでいます。<laughs> so he really learned from that.、Mm-hmm. Right, I appreciate that because it looks like、um, I just、um, a rock, l i k e it looks like it's carved of stone because it has the, the cracking on the side and it's somewhere between art and design. And, and I'm curious about how you think of your work 
in relationship to this borderline between koge, traditional Japanese craft, and fine art. Um, in addition, your titles add a whole other layer to your work as well. That brings it closer to fine art for me. This question is such important, and this is a kind of a new challenge in Ipono Gallery in New York. Uh, mm -hmm. like to share with the Japanese audience, but her question, この he never think that he would like to make something under the umbrella of Kouge, to be honest. He loves decorative arts. He loves those uh, contemporary art. Conceptual art. Conceptual art. MoMA <laughs> uh, currently. Uh, he He's enjoying a lot in New York to see so many art. At the same time, he chose a medium, lacquer, which is very traditional material. There is a limitation in the material, which is lacquer. There is a technique that is requiring in lacquer world because it's very difficult to apply and very um, uh, requires an excellency of the work. The result can be very graceful. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. And then, for example, this work is called Error Two, right? Mm -hmm. um, so it's like a computer error, maybe a glitch that caused the cracking, perhaps, on the, the border. Or I know there's another um, two other pieces that have error in the title. And I, I find these titles to be so intriguing that you bring in technology and a sense of humor and wit into your work. そうキズタリもしています。He understands that in the computer world and our digital world there are bugs, there are errors and there are different kind of a faults in the system and then so that is also a reason why he made cracks but at the same time when he makes this cube it's completely perfect shape and equal and just flat surface he really wanted to apply some more additional touch which is trace of hand as a it's a mark of he as a human made this it's not uh perfected by machine or something he just wanted to uh, leave some kind of a hand which is this crack the numbers are all random uh, so he applied with a very tiny sharp uh, stick he actually made this tool but he applied each by each piece by piece so there are computer no random they are not they need to screw down them this is not the random of the computer not random of the science it's a random of himself they こう完成度の高いものを目指す工芸という技術ですけど、
Kogei is always trying to achieve something perfect. でもそこには人の力が、うん、内在する。But it always contains the、uh, energy of human, that humans are effort inside. そうですね。うん、それがこう、なんでしょう、こう、愛らしさというか、こう、ものをめでるという感覚。That creates our sensibility to daring and cherishing and kind of a treasuring. That is the reason because it's human kind, human needs. So that's the key. That's the key. I appreciate that you're bringing this extra twist into your work, that you're breaking from the perfection we expect from traditional lacquer. Even with this distorted polygon here, blue barrel,、um, can you please talk about the creation of this? And in addition, talk about how maybe the concept or the title might precede the actual object. <laughs> うんですね、はい。えっと、これは鉱石と言います。あの、This is actually the shape come from the rock or the crystal. そうですね。Mm-hmm. Crystal, mineral. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. まあ、その自然物がこう別次元の何か要因によって、こう、あそのデジタライズされたという。He understood and he perceived that crystal is a result of、um, uh, different kind of axis or different force created into the nature as a result of some kind of a different axis force made this nature into this crystal. That's he realized, he feels. So, now he mentioned that's his imagination. <laughs> あのこれはあのナツネとして作りましたけど、ですけど、こうもっとその造形を重要視している。Really うん、だから、使いやすさは非常に使いやすい。And this is the only unique piece among this exhibition, a symmetry piece. Right.、Mm. I think it's so clever how you're working in a more asymmetric fashion. And I'm curious、um, about、uh, the link even with contemporary Western art.、Um, you, we were chatting yesterday about some of the, the artists、um, that you appreciate、um, that are working today or in recent years. Can you share with the audience some of the artists? そう,そうですね、もともとそのよパンクシャ機能性だったりを<咳>重要視するんじゃなくて、えっとうん、表現を重視しているので。He actually, as a making the、uh, traditional lacquerware, but his modern approach is not making something for functioning.、Uh, そうですね。だからそのユニークピースを作るという時間をこう大量にこういろんなものをその同じデザインで大量に作るというよりも一つ一つをしっかり作るという。Unique piece by piece. He does not、uh, want to make something,、uh, same thing in multiple na-、uh, numbers. He wants to have a unique piece. That's his approach.、Mm-hmm. I believe this is a kind of idea that making、um, as an artist, not a craftsman who makes the same thing, same cups, same bottles, but he wants to make unique piece. That's the same attitude as an Artist who makes fine art. That's right. And、mm-hmm. we were discussing how you appreciate Constantine Brancuse or Brancusi,、mm-hmm. and generally all of his works were one of a kind.、Mm-hmm. But you also mentioned Walter Di Maria,、mm-hmm. um, who made the lightning field.、Mm-hmm. And coincidentally, one of your pieces is Lightning Effect.、Mm-hmm. <laughs> yes. The lightning Effect is such a beauty.、Mm-hmm. Yeah, there are numbers here, there is a disc here. The images are now going to show、uh, in the slide Lightning Effect. Uh, it's actually still a tea caddy. 
but it's mesmerizing surface. そうですね。こうまあ、うん、やっぱり彫刻あの工芸をやってるので、彫刻が、うん、どうしても好きになってしまう。ああ、そうですね。で、例えば、うんそうですね。こうそうスカルプチャーも、うん、こう昔のようなこう人体彫刻だけでなくていろんなものを表現するようになっています。In history of sculpture at the same time that all the sculptures were figures of the bodies and the human bodies, then it shifted into like abstract and then create more unique、uh, one of a kind sculptures. たこれ、ライトニングエフェクトというタイトルになっているんですけど、その江戸時代の人がこ,うこれを見たら、なんという ?200 年前ぐらいですよ、ね。どんな名前をつけるかなと思ってつけています。What kind of a title the Edo period of people will put? That actually he always think whenever he makes title for the art. その電気の流れっていう目に見えないものを。That time there was no electricity, but the, the, the light that can be invisible. 描いた。This is the piece that he w a n t to achieve and realize that the invisible light that そうです。Um, error 23,、uh, as well as the mirror like effect that's created by the, the black. This is the largest piece in his entire history of work. This、uh, black surface he actually polished until last minute. He even brought this piece in the hotel and then uh, he, um, uh, he polished until the last minute. I'm just so、um, drawn to this piece because it is like a skyscraper as well. But that negative space just animates the composition, and it's such a, a wonderful addition to your work. And I noticed the negative space used quite frequently, and sometimes it looks like eddies or bodies of water or、um, aerial views of maps, the way that you use the negative space. And I don't know if that's something that you're thinking about as part of your compositions in general. そうですね、こうあの今回これの作品はとてもこう黒い部分を作りました。漆の黒はすごい吸い込まれるようなとてもこう澄んだ黒なので。The black of lacquer is very, very、uh, pure and clear black, and almost like a viewer we are drawn into. So, cloy kagami no yona kanji de mite i t a d a k e r e b a to o m o i m a s Please take it as a mirror, but the color is black. So, it's a black mirror. 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 数字のラデンがホログラムのように立ち上がっているような。そう、he wanted to create something、um,、making a boundary that this black surface reflect the outside world like us, but the numbers are still,、uh, still falling from this kind of a sky or falling apart. So the hologram, like a very mysterious 
um, uncatchable, some sort of kind of a numbers and digital world that he wanted to create. So the black surface is now connected to the out world because it's mirror and reflecting us. Right, and that's another link with contemporary sculpture. Let's say Donald Judd, uh, we talked about his work in relationship to yours and that you appreciate his work, but also the fact that you're getting away from traditional incense containers or tea caddies and making something that's moving more towards lack of function. Yeah. Um, I'm very curious about that. So you だけども、ハウエバー、だけども、作品としては、いたいだったり、古豪だったりっていう、その機能性、その間、間をどういうふうに感じ取ってるかって、そうですね。はい。あと、上げていただいた西洋、西洋のこう、あの、コンテンポラ
こう二次元にすればあの平面。だけどそうするとこう工芸である必要というかその漆を使う意味。Uh, then it うん、覚悟してそうそうそうこの先こうそういうことも考えていきたいなと思って。Really それがいいのか悪いのかは分からない。He does not know this is good or bad, but that's he have to. Thank you.、Mm -hmm. So, do you think、uh, we would like to、uh, open for、uh, our audience to have any questions, any comments? Hi.、Okay. My perspective is looking at spaces is that the spaces are different. So, inspired by the light, and there's the end of it. このカーブがもったらす光の開き方も。そうですね、うん、ありがとうございます。例えば、見ている人が白い服を着ている場合と黒い服を着ている場合で、それもまた。<笑>まずこの作品本当に素晴らしいとスペクタクラである作品がどういうふうに作られていくのか、進化していくのか、その造形がもうすでにこうあって、そこが形になるのか、あるいは木というものに触れながらどんどん生まれてくるのか、どちらですかというそうですね、あんまりこう、工芸って、例えば陶芸と違う、あの漆は陶芸と違う。仮想性がない。そう、仮想性がない。カーピング、アンベンディング。そう、the ceramic has some kind of a happening, so grazing or inside of the fire, it will kind of out of control. Compare with the ceramic world, lacquer has to be planned, curved beforehand, weight, schedules. でそう考えるともう最初にもうイメージをしてでその形に沿った木,木地を作らない。So he first has imagination. 
and then he will first create a base shape, which is kiso hinoki. It's a Japanese kiso hinoki cypress, which has a very, very uh, fine grains. That's how can have this quality of the wood. It will take many months to be uh, completed. <laughs> he needs to keep the initial passion and vision. He has to endure in the process of months and months. He needs some very beautiful, powerful enough passion and vision first. Then he can endure and enjoy the process throughout three, four months. Otherwise, he cannot continue. In the process, sometimes he feels that I'm matching kind of unharmonized feels between the shape and surface decoration. He loses whole motivation and he just forget about it. He just put it by wrap in the box. It happened. So each has a long process. So the first thing is that he has to be uh, passionate about the first design. Mm. Thank you. Mm. Yes. yes. ちょっと why he still wants to use the natural material, which is wood? Mm. Wood is out of control. Wood is very um, unplanned and just uh, sometimes warp and uh, you know, move. In Kanazawa, there is a uh, humidity of the 50%, even in winter. 80%, 90% of the humidity in Kanazawa. So However, when this piece comes to New York, New York is very dry. We have the humidifier here. ですけど、あの現代の素材プラスチックがを使った方がもしかしたらその心配はない。あ、ちょっと。1000年前のラデンの装飾だったり漆のえ、ま、出現品がとても綺麗な形で残ってる。You can see the very beautiful condition of the over 1000 years ago treasure made of wood is in the perfect condition still now. Metropolitan Museum。でもそれは見ることができる。You can see at the Metropolitan Museum those shoshin gyobutsu. なのでこう この木と漆と貝という素材を使うとその千年持つということはもう立証されています。So 
and then shells as a mother crop is able to be lasting over thousands of years. That he know and everybody is got proved. Mm. Mm -hmm. That's why he is he is happy and he is confident to work in this imperfect uh, material. Maybe we should open to the conversation line. Questions. Okay, let's catch the questions. Would you read? Yes, uh, Louise has a question. Uh, she's asking, can Ikeda Sensei share with us why he chose to wear a kimono for this presentation today? <laughs> How does he understand kimono within his digital generation? So my digital, uh, very good question. Nihonjin deal to you go to the kimono that was on the digital world or Hogan Snagger and the kimono. So, uh, he's now practicing tea ceremony. He's raised in a digital world, generation of digital world. He's now back to the tradition now. Mm -hmm. yeah. He himself is finding his identity and he's interested in how he will change himself. That's uh, he's open. So, particularly being in New York, he decided to wear kimono. Actually, he wears kimono almost every day. Thank I'm you. a little bit surprised because he's very good with kimono. <laughs> uh, but uh, he decided to be in New York and then wearing the kimono as a representative of Japan. Other question? Do you want to Yes, thank you. You were explaining if we have a white shirt or a black shirt, it changed the appreciation of the artwork. To be more immersed in your creation, my question is is there any piece of music imperfect that is? Perfect to explore a piece like that. Ah. As opposed to you talk about perfection and imperfection. Which music could be in this room? Interesting question. その白いシャツを着てたら光り方が違う、黒いシャツを着てたら光り方が違うっていうその外の影響をすごく受けやすい。ほど磨き込んだこの作品っていうだけに逆に音楽という外の世界の音をどういうふうに。あの、反響していくのか。何かぴったりの音楽ってありますかって。それは僕が聞くんじゃなくて。Is it the question that he wants to listen to make a piece? Yes. 先生がこれを作ってる時にこんな奏でてるような曲とか。ぴったりの曲みたいな。え、そう、ダンスミュージックも uh, he loves dance music, like a very physical uh, moves. Mm -hmm. uh, so EDM. EDM. Atoa. Keith Jarrett. Keith Jarrett. Piano. So atoa Ludovico A. Naudi. Ludovico A. Naudi. Uh, so Ega Mu. Ega Mu. Also, he loves the movies and he loves those soundtrack on the movies. Yes. Mm -hmm. Very inspiring for um, from many music. <laughs> he loves the kind of heavy beat. Sound. Uh -huh. Do you see some kind of beats in his work? Yes. Yeah. We need to play this on social media. Yes, let's put the beat music. <笑>だけどこうやっぱり昔からこうワールドミュージックを聞いてたので、あの。共通言語、世界の共通言語で表現したいという思いが昔からあります。He understand music is a shared language beyond the language beyond the grammar. The music is beyond uh, the language. So he loves sound and music, and he loved to do this shared language. And then he come up with numbers. It's universal language. Everybody understands each one, one, two, three, same. So he understands music can be somehow resemble with this shared language numbers. Mm -hmm. Okay, next. More online questions. Uh, so John would like to ask, how did Ikeda Sensei create the matte effect instead of like the more smooth flowing effects with the black lacquer on uh, the large hair of the match? 
、うん、感じを出してるみたいなと思ってた。光ってるところじゃなくて、このマップのサーフェスの部分に関して、どういうふうに作ってるんですかああ、うんうんうん、そうですね。Oh, the large one. Large, yes, or large, large one. マット。There is no actually matte surface for this super, super mirror sharp,、yeah. mirror smooth. But I should introduce if you are interested in John,、uh, this inside is matte. To create the surface、uh, mat because it's functional reason for matcha powder does not stick in this、um, uh, unsmooth surface. If this is super surface, then matcha is stuck. So, he and traditionally tea wear inside of lacquer is always、um, not super. This is tatami zuri, it's a, the, the, uh, tatami. そう、畳、うん、にすれちゃうから、畳、う、み、んうん、ずりと言います。Because it will be used in a tea house, tea room, which is 畳 mats, and then the piece is always touched、uh, 畳 and it will create the traces and I can destroy here. That's why it's already prepared as a mat surface and ready for damage. It's like a 畳み釣り。うんうんまとめしやすいです。Yes. Yes. Next. Yes, ね、Thank you. And,、um, the next question is actually、uh, has a connection with、uh, this audience question earlier about、um, does even as I say engage in any sort of meditation or this is this person that's a martial arts or any other kind of practice as a discipline to help you? Deal with the、uh, intense concentration needed to create such pieces. So, this is the first thing. 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 So, t h i だからこう世界中のこう美術館とか博物館に行ってあのまあ物を見たりとかしたいんですけどちょっとコロナと子育てで。He has been,、uh, he really wished to see and absorb in the art which is museums and exhibitions but during the pandemic and also Having little kids, actually two kids, he's a father of two little kids.、Um, he has been quite busy, so there was no time for such concentration or contemplation or being absorbed in art that was he could not do it. So he always w a i t until the kids are sleeping, and under the, when the kids are sleeping in the middle of the night, he Just、uh, watch the animation. <laughs> <laughs> He's a generation of anime, for sure. <laughs>、um, so, actually, one last pretty long question slash comment on Zoom.、Um, Michael says, Thank you so much. And based on some of your earlier discussion, do you think that such categories as art, kogi, decorative art, design, etc., Are important beyond fulfilling traditional genre expectations and the largely Western discourse of art history. Because to him, it seems like your work is an important statement or challenge to how we often think and talk about art and contemporary visual culture. You have answered some of this, but do you have any additional thoughts? On the utility of continuing to think through traditional art historical lenses, or can we do that? そうですね、こうデビそれデビーにも聞いてみたいぐらいなんですけど。He is also interested in how you、uh, 
respond to this uh, very big meaningful question. Mm -hmm. I think that um, seeing these works in person, you, you definitely see how Ikeda Sensei is defying our expectations of traditional lacquerware and um, with the irregular form of a blue barrel or the looming um, mirrored surface and um, the, of um, error 23. I, I think that many of these are straddling design, craft, fine art, the titles at a whole other level as well. So um, I'm curious to see where Akeda Sensei goes next. I think his visit to New York will definitely have an impact on him as well and this conversation too. Shoko-san, can you add anything? <laughs> um, so, yeah. Uh, a little bit about it then, then last comment. Yeah. Oh, so this is a lot of people. I know. Oh, it's very new. York, so <laughs> it's constantly this noise, but um, so this is a category. Me, you know, you know, you know, いるわけではないのでいろんな見方をしていただきたいんですけど Interested in making categorizing his work, but that's however, um, he just wants to seek a form of himself, form of his expression. That's what he's trying to do. Mm -hmm. the, I think actually this conversation has been very enthusiastic, and uh, we would love to continue, but it's getting uh, after 12 p.m. So we would like to, uh, this, this is the noise. This is the noise that it, the species are all reacting. One of them is called noise. <laughs> this, is, yeah, this is the perfect sound. Yeah. Do you want to hold up noise? Is it? This is it. It's right here. Yeah, One is called is noise. Whole, yeah, this title is actually noise. <laughs> yeah. I hope he can sleep in New York every night. He's staying in a hotel in Midtown and in I can see that it's so noisy, so I hope he has a good sleep. But first of all, thank you so much for this amazing opportunity to be able to share and exchange these amazing dialogues. And uh, we are all excited to showcase his 19 latest pieces in this gallery. And the opening is coming tomorrow and then starting at uh, 5 p.m. Uh, with the artist and then his wife, Masako-san, I would actually like to introduce Masako-san. Do you want to uh, just to say hello to the audience? Because Masako-san is the biggest supporter of his entire family. <laughs> uh, she also wears kimono, so Masako-san is the biggest supporter and the believer of himself since he's young. So I really love her and I'm so happy to be here. <laughs> Thanks so much. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we'd like to close this actual whole event, but please enjoy this whole um, uh, time. This exhibition is until mid-April. And then I would like to close that Ipodo Gallery has been continuing this uh, journey to present Japanese contemporary living artists. And we believe that the power of the hand and the soul of our human. And then even in this chaotic world, I believe the art can have this energy to make you happy and joy. So let's continue this um, adventure together. Thank you so much. Bye. <laughs>